MA Creating Collections is a course where you learn how to professionally create an exhibition and at the same time working with a specific collection you learn that the same collection throughout the years can be so versatile and has a potential to recreate different meanings that will still be very relevant for today. As part of the course, we are creating an exhibition at Chelsea Space, Who Has Seen the Wind, Women in Ceramics, where we display many works from the Elia collection, but also contemporary works. The Inner London Educational Authority collection is part of UAL, and every year, students from these masters are requested to do an exhibition with those objects. We're separated into groups, offline group and online group. I'm from the offline group. The main idea was taken from a poem. We wanted to give recognition to women and most particularly ceramists, because there's many in this collection, but no one has ever worked with those. We are curating every single element of the exhibition. So we all work separately as like different groups. We were split into spatial object and audience and we all worked collaboratively in those small groups. Started inviting artists and like working through the Ilya collection. Getting artworks to get here, creating a floor plan and displaying all the objects accordingly. And also the audience part, talks, workshops that will bring further discussion to your exhibition. So the exhibition is divided in three parts, Whisper, Echo, Chorus. Whisper is the first room where there's videos and contemporary artists are talking about their work. Then there's the second part, which is Echo, with photographs and archives. And then there's the third part of the exhibition, Chorus, where all the objects are talking together. I am collaborating with my MA Curating and Collection fellow student to curate an online exhibition called Playtime Commodity. The exhibition has objects from the Eberwell Iliac Collection as well as uh, contemporary artworks. I am from the Object Selection Group where we did extensive research on the educational background of the Camberwell Iliac Collection as well as searching and selecting contemporary works by artists to present these objects and artworks in the comparative context. The Ilya collection from Camberwell, it's basically an archive that was meant to be for educating children. We had an open call of what objects to display and then we thought about displaying toys and so Playtime Commodity kind of grew from this collection of toys that we selected into this dialogue of what consumerism is and came up with this concept that was mostly inspired on how commodities are sold online. So for our online exhibition, we actually have a review section and we also have a shopping cart system. And what we wanted to mimic is kind of this start menu for games. I think there's a lot of points to take away from our course. The first one is group work, team working, because in the future if you work in curation, you're going to talk to finance, marketing department. It's not only people who are in the arts field that you need to kind of communicate your concept with. The other one is probably time management. Every time we make an exhibition during the term, it's about how to organize all of your tasks, setting deadlines and finishing them on time. For me, the best thing that I've had on the course is the external bursary to curate an exhibition with my colleague in UAL. I gained so much experience from like submitting a proposal, doing the budgeting, um, working with artists across the college. It was just the best experience I've had so far in all of my career, really. What I'm looking to explore after studying at UAL is the technology and also the idea of online curating. While I'm doing this master's, I was able to apply for an internship in a gallery in London and I'm working there part-time. So I would like to continue to exploit these skills and knowledge that I'm having here at UAL into this gallery and then maybe one day have my own gallery.